Hello everyone, this is Maria and uh, uh, how to say currently there are so many customers uh, inquire me about how to achieve the communication about Modbus and most of them, uh, how to say, based on the RS485 uh, sleeve. So today I will show you uh, how to do the communication, okay? This is the display I prepared. Uh, do you, uh, are you familiar with this display here? And this is 7 inch. The resolution is 800 plus 480. So the model number is DMG 80480 CO7015 WTR. So I think mostly, uh, most of you uh, use this display. So you can hear this is the socket. This is 8-pin socket. This is the resistive touch. And this is a T-fiber chip. And uh, this is SD slot. And the uh, display at your hand mostly uh, doesn't have the uh, battery because uh, during the air transportation, this need to be deleted. deleted. So uh, now here we can see, because we want to achieve the mode bus communication and uh, based on IS-485, so here, this is the wire connection, A and B, A to A, B to B, and this is the power, this is the GND, okay. For this, I use the RS232 wire, just a part of it. And here, you can see the green wire to B, the blue one to A. So now I have uh, I have the right uh, wire collection. You may uh, check it out by your side. So this is the adapter RS four eight five. So I collect to this. This is the USB. Okay. And here, this is the power. And so I use the power collector. Uh, twelve. Okay. For this display, you you need to light it up with twelve. I already download the project to the uh, display, but later I will show you how to do it. This is the project created by my side. Okay, I just prepared two pictures. One is there, another one is the keyboard. And in this one, I just prepared, put two uh, modules. One is data variables display because I want to send data to the sleeve in the display. Okay, the VP address is 1000. Another one is data input because I also want the master can read the data from display and the VP address is still 1000, which means that I can use the keyboard to change the data here. Okay, others. I put in the D1 set, firstly is the font ID, I use zero font ID, and I generated the ICL files, uh, because, uh, and I name it as 23, uh, how to say, this display, this is the display model I test, it's only 8 MB flash, okay? The limit scope is 0 to 31, okay? And in the factory demo, this is the factory demo, even though it means it is named as other CFG, okay? Location is 17, 17 means 23. Okay, 23. And here, I also put the mode bus files for U85 to activate the, the serial port. So this is the thing you need to put in the DNZ set folder and uh, uh, download to the display, okay? This is the display already uh, with the project files. And this is the debug assistance. I use this one. And here, you can see the border is thin with the files I put into the DUNE 
set folder and hex show, then hex English. And the most important is this verify you should select mode bus CRC like this. Okay. And now I want to, because display is as the slave, so I want to uh, send data to the display. So here, this is the command. Firstly, it's the slave ID. I, I write, define by your side, 01, and then write data, 10. 10 means write data. And this is the VP address in the DGAS project here. And you want to, I want to write one word data. So, O one one word data uh, equals to two bytes. So here two bytes, and this is the actual data you want to uh, you want to show in the display. But this is hex. So O A means ten. Let's try it. And now this is ten. Okay, let's try here. Now it's five. Now fifty. Now 100. Okay. So another one, this is write data, but sometimes you can read data. So here, I will change. Now this is the data in the display. So I will use another command. Still 01 and read data use 03 and VP address in the DGAS project. And then you want to read the what you want to read. Well, I just want to read two bytes, so I write O1. And now here, you can see this is EO. EO, 224 EO. So this is the same logic. Okay.